I would love uh, to know, like, I mean, your message to the aspiring brand managers. There are a lot of people from B schools who are going. Yeah. So your message for them. Oh, my message for them. Um, personally, professionally, one is that marketing is not all that glamorous as it's made to be. Uh, marketing is not about the ad that you see at the end of the day. It's about the hard work and data and the numbers uh, that go in in the background that delivers that kind of uh, creative excellence that you end up seeing. Uh, there's a lot of uh, you know basic hard work and grunt work and elbow grease that you have to go through uh, before you aspire to become a brand manager, senior brand manager, whatever CMO, CA, whatever whatever level that you're chasing. Um, comes with a lot of thorough detailing that goes in in your um, in your uh, building years. Um, I don't know how much uh, people appreciate this, but having an eye for detail, especially uh, in the world of marketing, uh, is extremely important. You cannot disregard even a small uh, you know if you're not comfortable always raise it because at the end of the day in digital uh, in the world of digital marketing um, everything gets noticed that many times mm -hmm. earlier you had a print coming in for one day and it goes out the next day there's a new uh, you know new newspaper coming in with a new ad but in today's digital world everything stays there right even 10 years from now if you make a mistake and it goes out there uh, it stays there yes. so being detail oriented and meticulous is extremely important for anyone who is looking for a career in marketing at least in the building or the formative years over time it becomes a habit um, so I think that would be my message to people who are just starting out and uh, rest assured that it's not always as glamorous as it sounds sounds like. It is a lot of late hours, it's a lot of uh, you know thinking on your feet, it's a lot of managing uh, people uh, because managing agencies and your internal stakeholders may not always be the best uh, you know equation because there are these people who are core creative people and then there are people who are you know non-core non-creative people as well you see you know how that transition is difficult um, and you are the bridge for that yeah you have to convert a sales problem to a creative problem and then a creative solution to a sales solution so you are basically a bridge between the two, uh, you know, almost uh, non-complementary, uh, you know, halves. If you're lucky, you will be in an organization which understands creativity a lot and appreciates and it's a marketing forward organization. Uh, but sometimes you might also be in an organization which is, uh, you know, which does not understand marketing quite as much. Uh, and in that scenario, it is your, uh, you know, it is going to be your responsibility to cater your solution in a way to them which seems useful uh, it's not about only what you think you feel or how you want to approach it it's about how the organization is built how they want to approach it and then bring a solution which is feasible and palatable to them so you are basically that bridge so it's important to have that flexibility